Okay guys, here we go. Alright. Now, I've left these two tuning pegs in. You can leave them all on if you want. Um, but that's entirely up to you. The first course of action is, we're not going to put them on the other side of the headstock. You can do, uh, but that just makes a really messy looking headstock. So I'm going to show you a little tip of the trade here. Don't worry about the finish, don't worry about the dings. Doesn't matter about that, we'll refinish it all. This came off uh, an old thing that somebody had decided to, in fact I think it had a neck break at some point, but that's a good thing, it shows you that a proper neck repair can hold extra strings. Don't worry too much um, about about worrying about overstressing the neck, it won't, it really doesn't matter. Uh, you might need to do a couple of uh, attachment uh, turns on the old truss rod, but we'll cover that in a later video. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to mount them get one here hard to show you but they will actually fit let's turn those around a little bit we're actually going to mount them on the side here so your tuning pegs for your secondary set of strings are actually going to be facing down very much like uh, you used to get on a Gretsch 12 string okay it's going to be very tight a little bit tiny bit fiddly but that's what you're going to get if you want an uber thin neck on a 12 string and you don't want to have to pay the big price then this is what you're going to have to do so the first measurement that we're going to make is all the way down the headstock itself is you need to measure precisely from the inside line to the outside line here right half it and then draw a line straight across that's your first measurement what you, you need to be precise with this guys because once you drill it, it's going to be a nightmare for you okay and then the secondary lot of lines that you need to do to make a cross and the tangent in the middle is going to be in between the two holes there to there so where they cross is where you drill all right so i'm going to do that i'm going to do it off um i'm going to do it off camera but i'll show you then okay there we go right so basically we've measured along the length we've halved it all the way along be careful with it because with them having a tapered edge sometimes it can look like it's not and it can play tricks on you so just measure a couple of times and then draw your line if you have to rub it out start again then basically what we've done is uh, if you can see that but we measure in between the two hole points right draw the line up use a square if you haven't got a square just be careful and use a ruler along and draw your line up that'll cause your crosses that'll make your crosses there which you can just about see <coughs> Now, this is the dangerous bit. Um, you'll see on one of these, there is the shaft, right? And then there is a spline at the bottom, which is the fat bit. So, in essence, what we're going to have to do to get this to sit straight in here is we have to, we're going to have to draw somewhere, A, somewhere for the shaft to go, all right? So we're going to need to measure along the shaft all the way along so let's call that it's just I'd say it if I'm gonna work in centimeters here guys so it is 27 to 28 at uh, 28 I'd say um, so we're gonna to need to use a depth gauge on your drill or if you haven't got a depth gauge or anything just use a piece of uh, tape or something like that to measure how deep you're gonna go and that is gonna be your main hole All right it's about 20 yeah, about 28 okay so you're measuring all the way from the bottom here all the way to the top end up here it doesn't matter if you go over slightly you can make it a tiny bit bigger uh, just to have somewhere for it to seat properly so you're going to make your pilot hole first right preferably a little bit smaller than the shaft of this which is roughly about five mil um, and then you can go lower you always always go small first and then build your hole up a means that you've got a pilot hole to go to and b basically it, it it's going to stop chip out all right because if you chip out you're going to have to fill it and then glue it and stuff like that and it's just a nightmare and then the second bit that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to measure something for the uh the bottom bit here which is a little bit fatter um and then you're going to need to measure how big that is and use a bigger drill bit to countersink down do not countersink all the way that size don't do it please okay do not countersink all the way for that all right so we're going to drill these holes i'm going to start small and then work my way up um this is why i said it's important to have some drill bits really okay if you've got a vice like this one with a soft edge vice or something then that's great if you haven't well <laughs> 
find something to clamp it together with, but if you're going to put it between your legs, guys, just think on a slip of the drill and your prospects are spoiled, aren't they, really? Oh, I'm shaking just thinking about it. Right, okay, I'm going to drill these holes or make a start on drilling these holes, okay? Back in a second. <laughs> 